Very good. Okay, wait for a while. Okay, where's potato? Potato is not around. Potato is eating. Okay, potato is eating. Okay. So how about you? Are you done eating or not yet? I am done eating. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now I will share to you the cat three point. Okay, three point one. Okay, let us have here. Okay, the listening cat three point one because the last time we have two point two reading, right? So now let us have here listening three point one. Okay, so let us up here. Okay, so now teacher will... Okay, so we have here, look at this one. Okay, we have question 3.5. Okay, please listen. Kwan, Kwan, okay. Are you ready, Kwan? Okay, are you ready, Kwan? Ready? Okay, very good, my dear. Ready, teacher Anne. Now we are ready to start. Look at question one. One. What time will the taxi arrive at the woman's house? Tommy's Taxi Company. Hello. I need a taxi to go to the city airport tomorrow. My plane leaves at half past seven. So you'll need to be there at half past six. I'll send a car at half past five. It usually takes about 45 minutes. OK. My address is... Now listen again. Tommy's Taxi Company. Hello. I need a taxi to go to the city airport tomorrow. My plane leaves at half past seven. So you'll need to be there at half past six. I'll send a car at half past five. It usually takes about 45 minutes. OK. My address is... Two. What will they give George? George wants a bicycle for his birthday, but they're so expensive. What about some videos? Or a guitar? He loves music. I know. But he's wanted one for a long time. Well, let's get him what he wants then. Now listen again. George wants a bicycle for his birthday, but they're so expensive. What about some videos? Or a guitar? He loves music. I know. But he's wanted one for a long time. Well... Let's get him what he wants, then. Three. Where will they sit? Do you want to sit under that tree, Granny? It won't be so hot there. I'd prefer to sit in the sun. It looks nice there by the river. Shall I put the chairs there, then? Yes. They're in the car. Why don't you go and get them? I'll get the food ready. Now listen again. Do you want to sit under that tree, Granny? It won't be so hot there. I'd prefer to sit in the sun. It looks nice there by the river. 
Shall I put the chairs there, then? Yes. They're in the car. Why don't you go and get them? I'll get the food ready. Four. What size does the woman buy? Do you have another one of these pink T-shirts? There's this one. <laughs> but that's a size 42. I need a smaller one. Here's a 40. The size 38 will be too small for you. OK, thanks. I'll take it. Now listen again. Do you have another one of these pink T-shirts? There's this one. <laughs> but that's a size 42. I need a smaller one. Here's a 40. The size 38 will be too small for you. OK, thanks. I'll take it. Five. Which ice cream will they have? That was a good meal. You were a good cook. <laughs> Are you full? Or would you like some ice cream before your coffee? That will be nice. Is it chocolate? That's my favourite. Actually, it's banana, made with eggs and cream. Ooh, lovely. Now listen again. That was a good meal. You were a good cook. <laughs> Are you full? Or would you like some ice cream before your coffee? That will be nice. Is it chocolate? That's my favourite. Actually, it's banana, made with eggs and cream. Ooh, lovely. This is the end of part one. Okay, done, Quan Quan. Are you done with this? Lesson again. Okay, lesson again. Now we are ready to start. Please follow. Look at question one. One. What time will the taxi arrive at the woman's house? Tommy's Taxi Company. Hello. <coughs> I need a taxi to go to the city airport tomorrow. My plane leaves at half past seven. So you'll need to be there at half past six. I'll send a car at half past five. It usually takes about 45 minutes. OK. My address is... Now listen again. Tommy's Taxi Company. Hello. I need a taxi to go to the city airport tomorrow. My plane leaves at half past seven. So you'll need to be there at half past six. I'll send a car at half past five. It usually takes about 45 minutes. OK. My address is... Two. What will they give George? George wants a bicycle for his birthday, but they're so expensive. What about some videos? Or a guitar? He loves music. I know, but he's wanted one for a long time. Well, 
Let's get him what he wants then. Now listen again. George wants a bicycle for his birthday, but they're so expensive. What about some videos? Or a guitar? He loves music. I know, but he's wanted one for a long time. Well, let's get him what he wants then. Three. Where will they sit? Do you want to sit under that tree, Granny? It won't be so hot there. I'd prefer to sit in the sun. It looks nice there by the river. Shall I put the chairs there, then? Yes. They're in the car. Why don't you go and get them? I'll get the food ready. Now listen again. Do you want to sit under that tree, Granny? It won't be so hot there. I'd prefer to sit in the sun. It looks nice there by the river. Shall I put the chairs there, then? Yes. They're in the car. Why don't you go and get them? I'll get the food ready. <coughs> Four. What size does the woman buy? Do you have another one of these <coughs> pink T-shirts? There's this one. But that's a size 42. I need a smaller one. Here's a 40. The size 38 will be too small for you. OK, thanks. I'll take it. <coughs> now listen again. Do you have another one of these pink T-shirts? There's this one. But that's a size 42. I need a smaller one. Here's a 40. The size 38 will be too small for you. OK, thanks. I'll take it. Five. Which ice cream will they have? That was a good meal. You were a good cook. Are you full? Or would you like some ice cream before your coffee? That will be nice. Is it chocolate? That's my favourite. Actually, it's banana, made with eggs and cream. Ooh, lovely. OK. okay. Now listen again. OK, now. That what is the answer? What time will the taxi arrive at the woman's house, Quan Quan? It is letter B. Okay, letter A. Two. What will they give to George Quan? Letter C. Okay, very good. It's a bicycle. Good job, Quan Quan. Where will they sit? Where will they sit? Okay, wow, very good. And what size does the woman buy? What size does the woman buy? Okay, very good again. And next, which ice cream will they have? Letter A. Oh, the banana ice cream. Very good. Okay, scores for Quan Quan is five over five. Okay, five over five. Very good, Quan. Okay, next one. Very good. Great job, Quan Quan. Okay, here. So look at this one, Quan. You listen to Laura talking to a friend about places to go. What is the problem with each place, Quan Quan? So these are the places and these are the problems. What do you think are the problems for each of the plays that Laura mentioned to her friend? Okay, please listen. Now look at part two. Listen to Laura talking to a friend about places to go. What is the problem with each place? For questions six to ten, 
Write a letter, A to H, next to each place. You will hear the conversation twice. Hi, Laura. What shall we do this evening? I'd like to go to the cinema. It's always so hot in there. I'd prefer to go to the Mexican restaurant. The food's not at all expensive. They won't have a free table. You have to book before you go. Well, shall we go dancing? Haven't you heard? The disco isn't open anymore. If you like, we can go for a swim at the new pool. It's not dirty like the old one. But there'll be a lot of noisy children there. Well, how about the theatre? I haven't got enough money. The tickets cost too much. I know. Let's go and watch the football game on the sports field. It's just starting. You've got a coat, haven't you? It's not cold today, but the grass will be very wet after the rain. And I'm wearing my new shoes, so I don't want to go there. I think I'll go anyway. OK. Now listen again. Hi, Laura. What shall we do this evening? I'd like to go to the cinema. It's always so hot in there. I'd prefer to go to the Mexican restaurant. The food's not at all expensive. They won't have a free table. You have to book before you go. Well, shall we go dancing? Haven't you heard? The disco isn't open anymore. If you like, we can go for a swim at the new pool. It's not dirty like the old one. But there'll be a lot of noisy children there. Well, how about the theatre? I haven't got enough money. The tickets cost too much. I know. Let's go and watch the football game on the sports field. It's just starting. You've got a coat, haven't you? It's not cold today, but the grass will be very wet after the rain. And I'm wearing my new shoes, so I don't want to go there. I think I'll go anyway. OK. This is the end of part two. Do you have the answers? Okay. Do you have the answers, Kwan Kwan? Answer, teacher. Are you ready to answer? Kwan? Kwan Kwan, are you ready to answer? Kwan, are you ready to answer or no? I'm ready. Okay, ready. First, restaurant. Okay. What is the problem with the restaurant one? Based on what you hear, what is the problem in the restaurant? Go, Kwan Kwan. It is? The swimming pool is noisy. Okay, it's full. Disco, what's the problem with the disco? The disco is B. Okay, it's closed already. How about the swimming pool? What's the problem with the swimming pool? Okay, it is? What? Okay, it's letter G. Correct. Very good. Noisy. How about the theater? What's the problem with the theater? Uh, it's hot. It's yes. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, what's the answer, Peter? What's the Peter? Okay, letter D, very good. It's expensive. How about the sports field? Sports field, what's the answer? Sports field, what's the answer? Okay, again, again, what's the answer about the sports field? Okay, it's letter H, it's wet. The sports field is wet, teacher Anne. Okay, five over five, Kwan Kwan. Okay, five over five. Now let's listen again. One more for next activity. Hi, potato. Okay, listen to the girl speaking to a man at a job information center. Okay, you listen to the girl. Please listen to the girl speaking to a man at the job information. Please listen. Now look at part three. Listen to a girl speaking to a man at a job information center. The questions 11 to 15 tick A, B, or C. You will hear the conversation twice. Look at questions 11 to 15 now. You have 20 seconds. Now listen to the conversation. Good morning. Can I help you? I'm looking for a holiday job. Maybe as a waitress or a cleaner? All I have at the moment is a job for a receptionist. Is that in the new hotel in the town centre? It's in a small office next to the sports centre. How old are you? Nineteen on Saturday. Fine. They're happy to take on anyone 18 or older. That's good. In a lot of jobs, you have to be 20. And when can you start? My last day of classes is on the 23rd, so I can begin on the 24th. Well, they want someone to work from the 26th, so that's fine. Is the working day from 9 to 5? Usually, you'll work from half past 8 to half past 4. But on Fridays, you'll start at quarter past eight and finish earlier. And what about clothes? Can I wear these black trousers? Yes, trousers or skirts in any colour. They don't mind. But your shirt must be white. OK. Shall I give you my name? Now listen again. Good morning. Can I help you? I'm looking for a holiday job, maybe as a waitress or a cleaner. All I have at the moment is a job for a receptionist. Is that in the new hotel in the town centre? It's in a small office next to the sports centre. How old are you? Nineteen on Saturday. Fine. They're happy to take on anyone eighteen or older. That's good. In a lot of jobs you have to be twenty. And when can you start? My last day of classes is on the 23rd, so I can begin on the 24th. Well, they want someone to work from the 26th, so that's fine. Is the working day from 9 to 5? Usually, you'll work from half past 8 to half past 4. But on Fridays, you'll start at quarter past 8 and finish earlier. And what about clothes? Can I wear these black trousers? Yes, trousers or skirts in any colour. They don't mind. But your shirt must be white. OK. Shall I give you my name? This is the end of part three.
Are you ready to answer? Okay, lesson again, teacher. Now look at part three. <coughs> Listen to a girl speaking to a man at a job information center. The questions 11 to 15 tick A, B, or C. You will hear the conversation twice. Look at questions 11 to 15 now. You have 20 seconds. Now listen to the conversation. Good morning. Can I help you? I'm looking for a holiday <coughs> job. Maybe as a waitress or a cleaner? All I have at the moment is a job for a receptionist. Is that in the new hotel in the town centre? It's in a small office next to the sports centre. How old are you? Nineteen on Saturday. Fine. They're happy to take on anyone 18 or older. That's good. In a lot of jobs, you have to be 20. And when can you start? <coughs> My last day of classes is on the 23rd, so I can begin on the 24th. Well, they want someone to work from the 26th, so that's fine. Is the working day from 9 to 5? Usually, you'll work from half past 8 to half past 4. But on Fridays, you'll start at quarter past eight and finish earlier. And what about clothes? <coughs> Can I wear these black trousers? Yes, trousers or skirts in any colour. They don't mind. But your shirt must be white. OK. Shall I give you my name? Now listen again. Good morning. Can I help you? I'm looking for a holiday job, maybe as a waitress or a cleaner. All I have at the moment is a job for a receptionist. Is that in the new hotel in the town centre? It's in a small office next to the sports centre. How old are you? Nineteen on Saturday. Fine. They're happy to take on anyone eighteen or older. That's good. In a lot of jobs you have to be twenty. And when can you start? My last day of classes is on the 23rd, so I can begin on the 24th. Well, they want someone to work from the 26th, so that's fine. Is the working day from 9 to 5? Usually, you'll work from half past 8 to half past 4. But on Fridays, you'll start at quarter past 8 and finish earlier. And what about clothes? Can I wear these black trousers? Yes, trousers or skirts in any colour. They don't mind, but your shirt must be white. OK. Shall I give you my name? This is the end of part three. The man has a job for blank a receptionist. How about number 11? What is your answer, Kwan? Please answer number 11. The job is in where? Again? Okay, very good. It's in the office, Kwan Kwan. Great job, Kwan Kwan Boy. 12. You cannot do the job if you are younger than what? I. Okay, letter A. Okay, the job will begin on the when. Very good, Kwan Kwan. When? Letter B. Letter B. Wow, B. very good, 26. 
And the most working days will begin at what time, Kwan Kwan? No, no. Oh, you forgot. Oh, it's letter B, Kwan. It's 30 or half past eight. And for work, the girl must wear what? Black trousers and white skirt. Okay, very oh, good. Yeah, five over five again. Wow, great job, Kwan Kwan boy. Wow, very good. So amazing. Okay, let's move. Okay, next one. Let's move. You will hear a man. As you can see the picture, it's a very nice view. This is a man asking for information about the holiday in Ireland. Okay, this place, Kwan Kwan, is in Ireland. You can see that. It's a very nice place. Oh, it's some like a, a hometown. Okay, it's not in the city as you can see. But the view is beautiful. Okay, now let us listen about holiday in the Ireland. Okay, please listen. Now look at part four. You will hear a man asking for information about a holiday in Ireland. Listen and complete questions 16 to 20. You will hear the conversation twice. Good morning. Can you give me some information about your short holidays in Ireland? Certainly. You fly to Ireland on the Friday morning and spend two nights in a hotel, returning on the Sunday evening. So that's almost three days. What's the hotel like? Excellent. It's a five-star hotel called the Kildare. How do you spell that? K-I-L-D-A-R-E. It's by a lake, so it's good for fishing and walking. But if you want to buy some presents, there's a coach trip on the Saturday morning. You'll visit a factory where they make beautiful things from glass. Oh, good. I can buy some glasses for my cousin. She's getting married soon. How much does the holiday cost? It was £240, but this month we have a special offer of £129 per person. Can I book two places for next weekend? That will be Friday the 17th of Boy, November. No. Yes, that's fine. Can I have all your details? Now listen again. Good morning. Can you give me some information about your short holidays in Ireland? Certainly. You fly to Ireland on the Friday morning and spend two nights in a hotel, returning on the Sunday evening. So that's almost three days. What's the hotel like? Excellent. It's a five-star hotel called the Kildare. How do you spell that? K i l d a r e it's by a lake so it's good for fishing and walking but if you want to buy some presents there's a coach trip on the saturday morning you'll visit a factory where they make beautiful things from glass oh good i can buy some glasses for my cousin she's getting married soon how much does the holiday cost? It was £240, but this month we have a special offer of £129 per person. Can, can I book two places for next weekend? That will be Friday the 17th of November. Yes, that's fine. Can I have all your details? This is the end of part four. Okay, Kwan Kwan, one more. Yeah. Okay. Now look at part four. 
you will hear a man asking for information about a holiday in Ireland. Listen and complete questions 16 to 20. You will hear the conversation twice. Good morning. Can you give me some information about your short holidays in Ireland? Certainly. You fly to Ireland on the Friday morning and spend two nights in a hotel, returning on the Sunday evening. So that's almost three days. What's the hotel like? Excellent. It's a five-star hotel called the Kildare. How do you spell that? K I L D A R E. It's by a lake, so it's good for fishing and walking. But if you want to buy some presents, there's a coach trip on the Saturday morning. You'll visit a factory where they make beautiful things from glass. Oh, good. I can buy some glasses for my cousin. She's getting married soon. How much does the holiday cost? It was £240, but this month we have a special offer of £129 per person. Can I book two places for next weekend? That will be Friday the 17th of November. Yes, that's fine. Can I have all your details? Now listen again. Good morning. Can you give me some information about your short holidays in Ireland? Certainly. You fly to Ireland on the Friday morning and spend two nights in a hotel, returning on the Sunday evening. So that's almost three days. What's the hotel like? Excellent. It's a five-star hotel called the Kildare. How do you spell that? K I L D A R E. It's by a lake, so it's good for fishing and walking. But if you want to buy some presents, there's a coach trip on the Saturday morning. You'll visit a factory where they make beautiful things from glass. Oh, good. I can buy some glasses for my cousin. She's getting married soon. How much does the holiday cost? It was £240, but this month we have a special offer of £129 per person. Can, can I book two places for next weekend? That will be Friday the 17th of November. Yes, that's fine. Can I have all your details? This is the end of part four.